So today I'm here at Sandvik Coromont and we're going to learn a little more about the three pass method. What is it please Paul? Yeah sure, it's a, it's a method of, of producing a sized hull. Um, obviously in the hull making industry when you start to have applications which require a silent tools bar sort of 7 to 14 times diameter you will get bar deflection so you need to program um, a, a slightly variant size to allow for the bar to deflect to maintain the size so we have something called the three pass method which will allow you to get the whole size guaranteed every time and just to talk us through the process if you will yeah sure what it is we, we take a, a first pass which will sort of clean the bore up and, and make the hole true and it's not oval and then we take the second pass which is the first pass of the three pass method where we take a measurement and we input that into the calculator which is on our intranet site and with the calculator it will calculate the the size you input into the control versus the size you achieved mm -hmm. so in that size there will be an error or a deflection so it compensates on the second pass with the error and the compensation in the actual recorded measured size so on the third pass you've got a, a series of passes with the error of deflection based on the contact time of the insert so the third pass would give you a size of maybe plus or minus about one and a half thou so it really gets an accurate bore size because as you know in some industries where they're chasing a bore size with a silent toolbar they may do several spring passes mm -hmm. they may even try to rub the sort of last thou or two thou of, of, of size or, or 0.01 so it, it gives them security of being able to get a guaranteed hole size without wasting time and chasing a bore size. Mm -hmm. So when you're using the, uh, the app, the software, what, what variables do you have to enter? You just enter in the, the three sizes. The software actually talks you through it and tells you how to do it, which, we, which is the first pass, second and third. And all it's doing is calculating your deflection. So you put in, in the recorded size versus the input size and it just takes the deflection and carries that to the second pass and then by the third pass it's worked out how far your bar is deflecting based on your depth of cut so you get size, a size hole every single mm -hmm. time. Yeah it, it's fair to say we, MTD we visit a lot of end users and there's a lot of knife and fork and as we call that out there but really using this app and this sort of method you know it, it's not that difficult. No it, it's not and it's not and, and you know everybody's heard of silent tools boring bars and, and they, they're a productivity tool as well because you, as you can see you can run at much higher data and you can produce accurate bore sizes a lot quicker from a metal removal rate but also it gives you that ability to get a guaranteed size so the software is working in conjunction with the silent tool to give people who produce you know one or two holes or many thousands of holes it gives them sort of productivity or a guaranteed hole size because sometimes as you know in, in any finished machining the last cut the last is the most important because that is the finished part and so it has to be right you don't want to waste or scrap parts so it's very important in, in any metal cutting application where you're using a, a boring bar.